Hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. The Bible title is A Slave in Egypt. Sold by his family, marched by strangers, all the way to a forgotten land, and then trapped in the market place as a slave. Joseph was is hasted and terrified. Yes, his strong character must have shown so because the man who brought Joseph turned him to work in his house, not in his fields or A lover, a lover. The man was very important and witty. His name was Paro, and he was captain of the soldiers who gathered. Paro, the king of Egypt, got stayed with Joseph all the time, and. Cheered him up, helping him do his duties. Well, Pretty Par was so pleased that he kept promoting Joseph. After a while, Joseph was running. Perfo, Pretty. Pars whole house household. Now Joseph was not only hard working and trusting wrongly. He was also quiet husband and handsome. So much so that Paros wife fell in love with him. Each day she sighed every opportunity behind her husband. Back to Pharaoh with Joseph trying to tempt him into having a affair affair Joseph was loyal to Potiphar and kept turning her down, but <clears throat> Potiphar's wife was determined to get what she wants. One day, she lay in wait. For Joseph and rebelled him by his cloak. Joseph had to wriggle out of in the other. He escaped her clutch and ran off. Then the scorned woman. So, and way to get her own back, she put on so a show for of being in deeply upset and accused Joseph of having forced the, his way. Into her bedroom, and said that when she screamed out, he had run away, leaving only his cloak behind. Of course. 
Forty part was far, various, various. He had Joseph flying into prison. Joseph could have wept and wailed. He could have despaired and delayed. But God stayed with him and lifted his spirit. The jailer was found of the reliable cap capable young man and began giving him special jobs soon he put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners. Two of the prisoner, prisoners in Joseph's care were Paros, Bolcher, and Becker. One morning, Joseph found them looking and south because they had both had strange dreams that they couldn't understand. Tell me about them, Joseph agreed. Maybe God will explain to me what they are about. Dreamed, I saw a van on which three branches of groves grow, said the butler. I picked them and squeezed them into Paro's cup and gave him the juice of drink. Just I felt Sure, he knew that the dream means thanks of God. In three days' time, Paro is going to pardon you and give you your job back, he explained. The bolter was delighted. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. That, thank you so much, he cried. My friend, Joseph said, just present, promise me that when you are realized, you won't forget me about it. Please tell Paro about me and back him to realize me for I don't deserve to be in here. We will, well, what about your, my dream? Asked the beggar excitedly. I dream it. I was Carrying three breads of white bread on my head. And the birds were eating the bread out of the top basket. Joseph's face fell as a meaning came to him. I hate to tell this, he said sadly. But in three days' time, Paro was is going to harm you. The dreams come true in the three days' time. The beggar 
was put to death while the bolter was realized and set back to work for Paro. He was so joyful that any thoughts of Joseph went out of his head. Joseph remained in present quite forgotten. Yes, it is finished. Next time I will read The Ruler of Egypt. And today there was one picture. It is this picture. This picture is about Paro's portif part life. Wife was loving Joseph. And those Potiphar said, don't get close to my wife. So he was going and he was going and he have taken the clock. And so the Potiphar wife, wife made that one lie, right? So Joseph be, have gone into jail. And also he met a two friends. One the baker and one the um, juice that person. So they have a had they had a dream. So Joseph told the dream meaning. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Hundred Bible stories. It has been done. Bye.